to simplify the radical expression, let's factor the top part so that one factor is exactly the bottom, so we can cancel it. The key idea to do that would be to express one in terms of square root of two and square root of three. Let's go. One equals three minus two, and the third term will be square root of nine times square root of two. The last term, square root of four times square root of three. Keep the bottom. So we get square root of two plus square root of three plus square root of six. The first two terms can be written as square root of three square minus square root of two square. The third term is square root of 18 minus the last term, square root of 12. Keep the bottom again, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 6. Uh, six. Yeah. Now use difference of squares formula, so we get square root of 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Square 18 can be written as square root of 6 times square root of 3. Square root of 12 can be written as square root of 6 times square root of 2. Keep the bottom again, so we get square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 6. So square root of 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Take the common factor square root of 6 out, so we get square root of 3 minus square root of 2. The bottom, again, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 6. We know the top has common factor, right? So take it out, so we get square root of two, 3 minus square root of 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2. The second term is square root of 6, the bottom can be written as square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 6. Now we can cancel the common factor, so get square root of 3 minus square root of 2. That is the final answer. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.